You can do cutesy, you can do vintage, you can do the spooky elegant vibe. From minimalist decorating to maximalist, we have a fresh Halloween theme to throw at you this morning, decorating with intricate, delicate moths and butterflies. You can take cues from our creative friend, Celeste Whitney. It's great to see you. So good to be here. You are always doing something totally different, which I love about you. And the moths might speak more to Halloween than the butterflies, but somehow together it all works. I love it so much. I, I More than I even thought I would, but I can't really say that I love moths, <laughs> but I did want something kind of creepy, but also elegant. And I think this is like the perfect combination. I mean, my eyes are just combing and just perusing this display. And you've brought little vignettes that could be spread out over a home. And what do you like about it? The softness? Yeah. yeah. I love that it's elegant. Yeah. But it's like you, it, it's kind of the same take on bats. Mm -hmm. Bats were so big for so long, and mm -hmm. they still are, and they're great, you know, but they're a little bit more uniform. Moths and butterflies can just be kind of sprinkled everywhere, and it's kind of this messy, creepy effect that's yeah. just new. Because you're not into gory. It's just new. I don't like gory. Yeah. Well, this checks the box. Inspire us. Show us what you've done with this theme. Okay, so it's kind of new enough that they're not really readily available in stores. Maybe next year they but will But that be. didn't slow her down. So that's what always makes me make anything. And so I made a whole bunch of printables so that you can print them out. And I have two different options. Okay. Well, I've got three, but two different printable options. And one is on paper. Let me see. Paper. Oh, see, these are beautiful. And another is, is let me just, this is transparency oh. film. Oh, here, let me show you over here. Okay, yeah. transparency. So it's, it's, it's invisible or the paper itself is see-through yeah so when you print it on it's double-sided because paper is really hard but color printed that's the cool yes. effect on the transparency yes and so there's pros and cons to both right one's a little see-through one's a little bit like the paper you have to print it out twice and cut it out if you want it to be double-sided because Trying to print it double-sided never ever works. Right. Exactly. Just print Especially two. something so small. So how have you used these yes. cutouts, the transparencies in the paper? So I cut them out, and then if you notice, if you look close, I actually sew some fat, like little fur look on at it. That little texture. And I even add a little bit of like maybe legs, <laughs> so they can perch really perfect. But you can also just leave it just paper. I like that it just free stands. It Isn't just, it cute? Yeah, perches there I right on top of his friend the toad. I seriously love it. It feels like we're in a children's storybook. Well, and I couldn't bring, yes, it's very, you know, I love it too. I'm catching on. I'm getting the way. Right with the mushrooms and the moss and it's kind of foresty. Anyways. Yes. Um, I picture this, which I haven't done it yet. You know, I'm like my picture wall, my family portrait wall, uh -huh. just all over sprinkled. But I had to bring something, you know, you can, the point is you can take out anything that's tired in your decoration box and plaster it with moths and it's amazing. And it's suddenly fresh and it's new. It's all of a sudden I'm, new I'm and sort so of fun. cracking up inside. You're the woman who had me put crows all over oh, my yes. front banister, which we still love. <laughs> which I love. But I now, still love the now crows. we're going to a different flying creature. Yes. Okay. So then we're transferring to bigger oversized. Wait, hold on. Can we just stop oh, here yes. for a minute? Candles. Oh, mosses. the candles, I mean, I just yes. want to see all the different ways that you've used it. This tray itself kind of becomes a statement or a centerpiece. So moss yes. on the bottom, candles, and butterflies. Really, just anything. I mean, take a couple vases of flowers. Look at that. And just throw some moths on it, and it just kind of works. You've tucked, right? you've tucked little geodes uh, some gems in and there. rocks. I just kind of some mushrooms. rummaged. In fact, all of this, almost all of this came from the dollar store. The black candles. The moths, the candlesticks, oh. the, the candles themselves. Reminder to light your candles so they drip just like yes. this. Yes. Okay. You got to be drippy. To, I had to give that its own moment because Thank this you. is really, really fun. Really fun. Okay. That's so nice size. of you. Okay. So then the fabric ones. Oh, oh my there's goodness. fabric ones. <gasps> Look how pretty she is. Is, is that the, the, I think the she's word pretty. we're going for? <laughs> <laughs> she's so cute that, or she's so ugly that she's cute. Is that the phrase? <laughs> yeah. There you okay. go. There you I go. I love it so much and I'm not, um, a seamstress okay per se so there's a lot of hot glue involved and there's also some templates for we bigger love, ones we love a good template and I made the templates uh, you know not just the outlines in case you just wanted to actually glue the paper itself oh, sure. together and then embellish it with a little bit of fur and some feet and some you know antenna so, so in this case the feet pipe cleaner yes and there's special pipe cleaners for that if you, my, my biggest advice is Google a picture of a real moth uh -huh. and see where the placement of the feet are. But they kind of are furry at the top and like 
smaller at the bottom. Let me show you these. And the way you've used this burlap, is it like a burlap oh. fabric? Yeah, it There's is. There's nothing in there, but it's it's texture and right. thick. And That's it's why cool. I used it. It's, okay, I found these squiggly pipe oh. cleaners. Oh. Do you see that? Oh, these are not your everyday yes. pipe cleaners. Which they already have the defined, you know, the Fluffery. bulky fluff where you need it. I cut them right in half and then it perfectly made two legs, two antenna. Don't you love when you find a... Uh, it's an, perfect. I was going to say an ingredient, but a material yes. that was begging to be made into this pretty yes. thing. And then okay. if I could show you just yeah. one trick Please. on the fabric ones. Mm -hmm. I used fur. Instead of, okay, if you can find stuff like this that's full-blown plush, you know, animals and stuff mm -hmm. that have sewing details, but I'm not a great sewer, so I used the fabric, I'm just gonna sit here and the pet fur, cut. and I just cut. You'll notice on the printables that the backs are kind of striped. Uh -huh. So I literally just cut stripes in the fabric Stop like this. Stop it. And it made this perfect 3D effect. Does that make sense? Yes. You can kind of see you, it. On you the gave camera. it dimension. It gave it dimension without having to sew it. And then I just I, I hot glued two of these together to make it cute on the front and the back. This is if so that makes sense. fun. I Isn't can't think fun? of a better word or a different word, and I don't need to. It's just fun. It's just yes. fun. And so, like, there's different styles. So these are almost the same, and they would look almost the same, but you can just, the reason why the, the templates are cut out wings uh -huh. is because you can put them up or down, and they totally look like a whole different thing. Yes, that with makes the sense. different fabrics so and the textures with, and the yes. fur. Play and the pipe the cleaners, I'm just pausing to admire again this little vignette with the textured kind of dry leaves. We've got a masquerade prop. See, and these are already stuff that were already on my on my display just normally. You so have this. I just added the butterfly. In your Other Halloween than like stash. I added a pumpkin. But this way I can have a lot less what storage. What a fun way to update whatever you had. And we have to talk about, I mean, not to take away from moths <laughs> and butterflies, but where did this guy come from? <laughs> I think I got him at Michael's like a oh, few years ago. He's cute. But I just loved him. He kind of worked with the, <laughs> you know, he totally nature. Does. Okay, here's the best part. Celeste has made all of the printables we've shown you today free, available to download on the Studio 5 website. That's studio5.ksl.com. And keep in mind that tip to print out on the transparency colored ink through the see-through paper is a cool effect as well. Happy Halloween, my friend. <gasps> Happy Halloween Thank to you. you. for elevating and updating what we already have with a cool new theme and motif. Yes, I've been loving we it. We appreciate it.